of Zachary Kirk Charter. Zach Charter, he was my best bud. His comforting smile and booming baritone voice brightened everyone's day. Sorry. <laughs> that was a great speech. Thank you, Eric. smile, booming baritone voice, and his amazing hair swoop brightened everyone's day who he saw. It's a shame that all that potential had to be taken away from us so soon. But we can't dwell on the things that he could have done. Rather, we should look on the things that he had accomplished in his short life. Zach held the impressive title of the Pinewood Derby champ for four years in a row. Needless to say, he's the best soapbox derby car maker and racer ever. Zach was also a master videographer, whether his movies were 15 minutes or just 30 seconds of him yelling really loud. Everyone loved him. Anyone who watched him always laughed at afterward. They made them look on the brighter side of things. I actually remember when I first met Zach. I'd gotten my Hot Wheels out to play in the street and I saw him down there. And I yelled to him, hey, want a race? Yeah, he shouted. I'm not sure why he was shouting, but we were pretty close, I don't know. All right, I said as we headed to the park. I pulled out my lucky hobby. It was all old and rusted, but I loved him. I named him Clyde. <laughs> we rushed to the swirly slide of death. We climbed all the way up. It took a while, and we could have just went up the stairs, but we didn't. He pulled out his, and I was terrified. He had the Batmobile. I couldn't even get a Batmobile, it wasn't fair. But in the end, Zach lost. It was a miracle, and from that point on, I knew Zach could become the best Hot Wheel racer around. Our friendship only grew from there. Although we stopped racing Hot Wheels, we started doing other things. Like we took swimming lessons together, and we usually played at the park. But the last thing I remember doing with Zach was sledding down a hill. It was Dead Man's really big steep hill. We'd gone down it pretty slow the first time, just to be safe and check things out. The last time we didn't stop for anything. We just ran down. I was using my old toboggan, so I fell back a little bit when we were in the beginning trying to get speed up. Then it came. Zach hit a jump. I didn't know what had happened. I didn't see it or anything, but I just followed after him. And somehow, right in the middle of the jump, my toboggan shattered. Splinters of wood went flying everywhere bottom sliced trees. It was pretty scary. When I landed, I hit my head on the ice and fell unconscious. The rest of this is just what I was told by the paramedics who arrived first. Zach stayed with me the entire time until they came. And they tell me that right once they got there, a Yeti came up from behind him. Trying to protect me, Zach threw himself at the Yeti. I didn't want to get into the details with the doctor. I was pretty afraid. Although today we will all miss Zach dearly, we must remember that we'll always have his videos and memories that he gave us to remember him by. Just thinking about the memories I've made with him, it makes me feel like Zach is still here with us today. <laughs> Honestly, I don't think I would be the person I am without Zach Charter. He helped me to become the best Hot Wheel racer that the world has ever seen. Although I don't have Zach motivating me up, 
Francis, I'll always hear his voice in my heart. I love you, Zach Charger. <laughs>